So this will be a short video, but I should really have started it at the start as an example. Never mind. Not, not done many videos so far to come on holiday. Right, so, yeah. So I've got the first three terms, so that clarifies in my head it's definitely arithmetic, where a is three and d is, uh, a is four and d is three. Right, so this, what it wants, it wants the sum of the first 100 terms. So don't be put off by this sigma notation, which puts a lot of people off. I just want the sum of the first 100 terms. So I know it's n over 2, 2a two plus n minus 1d. So the sum of the first 100 terms is 100 over 2, times logic, 2 lots of 4 plus n minus 1 is 99 lots of 3. Okay? So the sum of the first 100 terms will be, checking the answers on a completed pack, is 1, 5, 2, 5, 0. There you go. Right, so there's one for you. Uh, so you've got to go and ask to generate the first three terms. So if I put 1 in, it gives me 3. If I put 2 in, it gives me 8. If I put 3 in, it gives me 13. So I know A is 3, D is 5. I want the sum of the first 50. Sum to 50. So that would be 50 over 2. 2 lots of 3, 49 lots of 5, and the sum to 50 is 6275. You can actually do it on your calculator straight off, but I'll let you do that to check it. You've got to be careful. Um, oh, do you know there might be one more question on this before we finish this lesson? Yeah, yeah problem solving one, that's all right then. I thought you were going to get like a two minute one. Right, so it says Jamie's training for a marathon. On day one, he runs two kilometres. On day, on each subsequent day, he runs a further 0.5. Right, so you know it's arithmetic. You know A is a 2, you know D is a half. It's quite nice, quite straightforward. So then it says, find the day in which the total distance he has run up to, and including that day, first exceeds 100 kilometres. So this is where we have to be careful. Is it saying, when's the first day I run 100 kilometres in one day? Or is it saying, what day do I get where in total I've run 100 kilometres? So because of the total bit, I'm looking at the sum of the nth term there. And I want to find out what n is. I want to know what it is for if it's more than 100. So let's set that up then. So I've got my formula, which I know is n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1d. So I'm saying, when is that greater than 100? Right, so n I don't know. 2 lots of 2 plus n minus 1 lots of is greater than 100. So if I multiply through by 2, right, I'm going to expand my brackets as I go through. What's that going to give me then? So I'm going to have an n. I'm going to have 3 and a half, which is 7 over 2. Plus an n over 2 greater than 200. I feel like I can make a bit of a watch in this expansion. I've got 7 over 2n plus a half n squared is greater than 200. I might just times 3 by 2 just to make it look a bit nicer. Uh, So if I multiply through by 2, I've got the 7n plus n squared is greater than 1200. And then I've got kind of like a quadratic here, you know, which is different to Martin's little pause. 
I'm okay. Martin uh, has divided three by the four. So is there in, in decimal, more decimal? So I've got a quadratic inequality that I can solve. And it will give me the values I'll get out if I use poly on my calculator. Uh, it should give me n is minus 23.8 and n is 16.8. Remember, no matter how good you are for quadratic inequality, just draw it out. But it helps you identify the regions you want. So the regions I want are down here and up here. But, but as n is greater than zero, two or positive days, Therefore, n has to be greater than 16.8. So what I'm looking at is the 17 day. There you go. So on the 17th day, the total distance run will be over 100. The first break over 100 kilometers. There's some consolidation to do there, so that's all good. Right, I'm done. Well done. Bye bye.